According to string theory, there are about 11 dimensions rather than the four that we know. I was just wondering whether uh, of the missing seven, uh, the chances are high or low that at least one of them will be another one of time, or is time just a unique dimension? So you ask, could there be extra time dimensions? Could some of the extra space-time dimensions that, say, string theory um, often suggests uh, be time-like? Um, that's a very interesting question. Uh, time is one of the most mysterious aspects of, uh, of our theoretical framework. And um, you know, the first person I know that wrote an interesting paper about the possibility of extra time dimensions was Andrei Sakharov. This was before string theory, but uh, extra dimensions go back to Kaluza and Klein in the 1920s. Um, and, but everyone who's thought about this, including Zakharov, runs into problems. Uh, if you, time is very different, although unified with space, very different than space. As you know, in, in ordinary space, you can go around in a circle and come back to the same point. Time is, there's only one time dimension so far, and we can only go in one direction in time. Now imagine we had two times, two time coordinates, and time would be sort of like a plane, and you could move in time in a circle and come back to the same point, the same instant. And once you start imagining coming back to the same instant in time, you get into all sorts of problems, much like you have when you contemplate time travel where you can move back in time and then just sit there until this instant arises so I could come back if I could time travel to this very instant in space and time. That gives rise to all sorts of causality paradoxes. You could go back and kill your grandmother and then you wouldn't exist and so on. And um, so all attempts so far to incorporate extra time coordinates and consider a space-time with more than one time uh, have led to various types of inconsistencies or contradictions, um, breakdown of causality. Uh, it's not that people haven't tried. They have tried. Um, normally they try to get rid of or explain away the extra time dimensions and show how they're not observable thereby avoiding some of these contradictions, um, but they haven't truly been successful. So I don't really know the answer to your question. There might very well be a framework in which there uh, are more dimensions of time. After all, there are lots of dimensions of space. Um, there might be a framework in which both space and time are emergent concepts, in which case the number of dimensions of time might itself be an emergent concept, but uh, we just don't know. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to speculate about such things, but so far uh, nobody has been able to conceive of uh, a sensible way of describing physical reality um, without a unique time.